Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in chat, LLM Teams, and today we're looking at their AI engineer. I've recently done a video about it, but here's the thing, they've made all sorts of changes, they've got new features, they've got new functionality. I'm gonna show that to you, and then we're also gonna create a YouTube assistant like here. And this YouTube assistant is for people like me and maybe like you who create YouTube videos or are thinking about making YouTube videos. We're gonna go front to back through all of the steps all of the things that you need to consider in creating your own custom AI engineer. And for those of you that are new here, an AI engineer is essentially the combination of a custom chatbot and an AI agent. Join me as we create our own custom chatbot and AI agent. All right, once you've logged in, you should see a screen like this. Of course, there's a link in the description below if you wanna follow along with me and log in. All right, once you've done that, you're gonna see here up at the top, I'm gonna to click on this down triangle. When I do that, we get access to a whole bunch of things. Now. I'll very quickly state here that you get access to all of the state-of-the-art large language models. You get their smart router system called Root LLM. They've got so much here. They've got O1 Mini, they've got O1 Preview, the big models that OpenAI just released. They've got smart agents like this. There's so much stuff going on here, plus image and video creation. It's all in here. This video, we're gonna stick to our knitting here. We're gonna go and click on this one here, AI Engineer. When you do that, it takes you to this screen here. And now we get two options. We can create a custom chatbot or we can create an AI agent. In this video, we are going to create a YouTube assistant and this assistant is going to help us with a lot of things. Some of the things that we're gonna cover are things like coming up with content ideas, how to understand and navigate YouTube's always changing policies, thumbnail creation using Flux 1.1 Pro, this is the big one. This is the big AI image generation model. It's already integrated into chat LLM. We're also gonna create B-roll video and we're gonna do descriptions and tags and things like that. All of that inside chat LLM, inside AI engineer. Let's get in on it. All right, so here we are on the main page. We're about to start creating. I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom chat bot first. We'll take a look at the AI agent functionality after that. I will note it's in beta, but it works really, really well. So it's pretty much already there, if not entirely there. So let's start with a custom chat bot. I'm gonna click on that here. And then literally one of the big changes is as opposed to getting a form like it did in the past, now it just literally holds your hand and walks you through the process. This is literally no code, easy as pie. Let's see what it says here. So the first step here, what would you like to name the custom chat bot? So I'm gonna call it my YouTube assistant something simple like that let's go with that and then i just hit enter and then literally i'm just following the steps here so yeah they likes the name good enough would you like your chatbot to use any specific data sets or knowledge base with while answering questions so this is purely optional but if you have an faq or if you're creating a you know a chatbot that has a set of information you want to pull from maybe you have a uh you know an sec filing or something like that and you want to get data from it you could go ahead and put that in here. In this case, I'm not going to, but I want you to know that that is available. So we're still rolling here. Now it says, tell me more about what you want your My YouTube Assistant to do. This is the important part. So you can literally type in anything you want this chatbot to be able to do. Now I have a list of things that I wanted to do for my YouTube bot, but this will of course be different for what you want. Real briefly, what I'm looking for is help with YouTube content creation ideas, in the area of AI, that's my specialty, help summarize ideas and create scripts based on those summaries. So it's gonna help me with script creation. We're gonna help navigate YouTube's policies and procedures because they change every day. <laughs> uh, it's also going to help me create eye-catching YouTube thumbnails. One of the things these bots can do here is basically take you the whole way through the process of your YouTube creator, you know, write the script, create the B-roll, create the thumbnail, create the description, create the tags, everything can be done here. So like I said there, it's gonna help me create eye-catching B footage, or let's call that B-roll footage, that's a little bit better. Uh, B-roll footage, so we're gonna have interstitial video in there. And then again, YouTube descriptions and YouTube tags. All of these things I'm gonna be cooking with, I hit enter, watch this, here we go. Thank you for providing such detailed information. Yes, it's pretty damn good, I know. Now, here we go. It is training the chat LLM model and watch this. It trains it right there for you, right in front of your eyes. And if I zoom in, even better. Look at this, behavior instructions. Here, <laughs> you are an AI assistant specializing in YouTube content creation, particularly in the field of AI. That's exactly what I asked for. Your role is to help creators improve their YouTube channels and videos. Absolutely. 
You provide creative, actionable advice based on... Yes, perfect. And YouTube best practices, content creation strategies, also what I asked for. And then, I mean, here we go. A little further, yes, response instructions. Respond in a friendly, encouraging tone. You can set a different tone if you were so inclined. I just went with the default tone, but if you want a, you know, a witty tone or a something like that, you can always put that in there. And then look at that. I mean, it just cooks it right in front of my eyes here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a bit. But there we go. It's working on it. It's telling you exactly what it's doing. It gives you the uh, behavior instructions, response instructions. It's web search enabled, and it's got the built-in algorithm. It uses GPT-4 to ensure high-quality responses, so it's not using some five-year-old... <laughs> GPT-2. It's all there, guys. It's amazing. And if I go through this, it deploys it, and then it gives me a conclusion. And then better yet, look at this here. The UR link to the chatbot's endpoint is here. So if we want to go ahead and look at it and make changes to it, and you can edit it right there as well. So there we go, guys. That is it so far. And that's really it in a nutshell. However, now I want to show you just how good it is. So check this out here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the URL link to the chatbot endpoint is. Click that link here in a new tab. You'll see up at the top, it has now changed to my YouTube assistant. So this is the chat bot we just created with all that instructions. And now let's go ahead and just put in a few prompts and let's see what we get. All right, here we go. So we're in my YouTube assistant and it's one thing to say you create an AI chat bot or an AI agent. It's nothing to actually be useful. That's where, that's where chat LLM comes in here. So let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy in a prompt. Suggest ideas for a video about AI video generation. One of the things I wanted it to do was to help me come up with ideas, content ideas, things like that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Real quickly here, it gave us five, six ideas. Okay. Now, as an AI content creator, I can quickly look through these and see if any of them are any good. AI video generation, the future of content creation. That is something I would make a video on. AI versus human video generation comparison. That is a fantastic topic, although I'm not sure where I would start with that. So, you know what? Let's go with that. Okay, so I'm going to say, write a detailed, write a short script and summary for number three. Okay, so we're working with this. And number three here, create a video where you compare an AI video generated with a human created one. Discuss the differences, pros and cons of each. Okay, so that's where it's going with this. Okay, so here's a summary. Here's the script. All right, we are cooking here. Hello, AI enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to do something really exciting. Okay, this sounds like something I would say. Let's talk about video in it. AI generation, segment one, segment two, segment three, segment four, closing. Okay, so it's helped us come up with ideas. It's helped us come up with a script. Great. Let's create, create a sample thumbnail for this video. Dash, dash, aspect ratio 69, just in case. Something like that. Okay, let's see if we can do that here. Again, this is all being done under my YouTube assistant. So it's going to generate an image. Well, it knew automatically to do that. So that might take a few seconds. I'm going to come back when that's done, show you what we got, and we're going to take it to the next level. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. Okay, look at that. Okay, so there's a couple things I should point out here. First off, this was made with Flux 1.1 Pro. I point that out because Flux 1.1 Pro launched yesterday so they have already integrated into the chat llm like literally the day it launched which is awesome look at the image when i click on it and i zoom in we've got an ai type style with a robot on the left side and then we got a human on the right side split in half which is exactly what i would do in a thumbnail to show the 50 50 difference and the text is correct ai versus human and it's properly centered guys this is a fantastic thumbnail it literally did it on the first shot. Unbelievable. We could do a few more things, though. Like, for example, let's write a description and tags for this. Why not? We need a YouTube description. So create a detailed YouTube description for this video. Make it SEO friendly because we'd like it to be found by search engines if possible. And then let's just go with that. I'll hit enter, come back when it's done to show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Create a YouTube, detailed YouTube description. And there we go. Here it is. Absolutely. About this video, AI versus human generation, what you'll learn. Keywords, subscribe for more content. Fantastic. Let's keep it going. Write 20 YouTube tags, comma, separated. No numbers. Oops. No numbers. Or this video. 
Watch this. It's just going to give me the YouTube tags that I want here. I just copy and paste them in AI, artificial intelligence, video generation, content creation, etc. Of course, you can add in your own stuff. You could change your description as you see fit. But there we go. We are literally creating our own chatbot there using the new AI functionality, AI engineer functionality. And it's literally that easy. There's a little more, though, I'd like to show you. Let's get into that now. All right. So we're back at the main screen here. Let's go through that process again. But let's go through the AI ages. But this will be a lot quicker. So here we go. We're going down through it. You'll see here AI engineer. Again, click on that. Create an AI agent. It's in beta, but not to worry. It works great. And then boom, here we go. AI engineer. It is going to help us create an AI agent. Now, we can do a custom one. If you have a custom AI agent in mind, go ahead and work with it. I want to go ahead and create a news reporter agent because this is kind of like a feed leaf for me. And this helps me as a YouTube creator. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and click on this one. It summarizes and provides insights about the latest news on a given topic. Now, I operate entirely in the AI space. So I think you know where this is going. I'm going to click on submit, form submitted, and then boom, AI engineer defining AI agent, executing the code right here. And I'll just scroll through it. It should take just a few seconds for it to cook up. I'll look at that execution result, registering the agent. I mean, it just goes through the whole step here. I'll come back in a few seconds when it's done, show you the next step. All right, welcome back. So we've gone ahead now and created our own AI news agent. So it executed the code here. And again, just like last time, you can go ahead and click and see what's going on underneath the hood here. Summarize the key points, important trends, on a certain topic and then the system me message here is you are a news reporter ai agent your job is to analyze and prog process some latest news articles on a given topic so you can see literally what it's doing it's really really cool here and then underneath they've registered the agent they've executed the code go down a little further here and at the end of the day you'll see here that it's created it successfully created the ai agent using their api and boom here we go now it is deployed and this is the good part here we want to go ahead now and access the agent. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this link right here. Watch this. When I open it up, it opens up a new tab. And now News Reporter Agent App 1 is up. And here's the best part. News Analyzer. Select a topic. I'm going to go Artificial Intelligence because I'm very original. <laughs> I'm going to click on Submit. And let's see what kind of news it comes back with. It might take a few seconds here. And then we're going to see what we get. Oh, didn't even take a few seconds. I'm pretty much didn't even have to leave nothing. Okay, very cool here. So here's some examples. And let's go through it here. Summary of top news. Okay, Meta's AI innovations. Yes, they've just came out with the Llama 3.2. And they've got a new movie gen model. I just read this today. This is perfect. Open AI developments. They've got the new Canvas interface for ChatGPT. These are awesome. These are awesome results here. And if I want to go into them further... I can just click on the button here and it takes me directly to that article. This one's on TechCrunch. Let's click on it. Wow, there we go. So here we take into TechCrunch and we can go right through here and take a look through these different articles. So that's pretty cool in a nutshell there. If we go down a little further here, it gives us insights and trends. So it talks about the actual articles themselves and why it's interesting. So as a content creator like myself, I would flip through this. And literally, I don't know if I, I might have to cancel my Feedly account here. This is some pretty cool stuff. And then again, we could take this and then we could put it back into our custom chatbot and start the YouTube creation process to start creating a video. So all of this now is set up inside Abacus AI's chat LLM teams. It's fantastic. You really got to try out their new AI engineer functionality. It's real good, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment. See you later.